So this is our pie crust after I've baked it in the oven for four, uh, at 400 degrees for about nine minutes or so, or until golden brown like this. And then I basic ingredients for quiche is eggs, cheese, usually cheddar, but you can use whatever um, cheese you want, your favorite cheese, and milk. That's it. But if you, and, and a crust, <laughs> but um, if you want, a, well, today I'm going to use uh, buttermilk, some sliced onions, which I've done already, and chopped uh, beef sausage. Now that we've got it all buttered up, our crust buttered up, what we're going to do is we want to saute our meat. Then, while we're sautéing our meat, we're, we're going to add our onions next to be sautéed with the meat. And last, we're going to add our uh, mushrooms to be sautéed also with the vegetable and meat um, arrangement. So what, right now, uh, what I'm doing is whisking the milk and the eggs into this bowl and I want to see bubbles and I actually used four eggs instead of three but I kept the measurements of the milk consistent um so yeah you just want to see bubbles um all right I let me finish doing this and then I'll get back to you guys so right now um I've got the wok going you can just use a regular ass skillet and um so we get the meat, the onions, and the mushrooms going. Like I said, put it in in order, or else, uh, yeah, you don't want to contaminate and get sick. So, and then I'm um, turning that off. But I've got my oven preheating right now. It's set at 350, and uh, already with my uh, mixture of eggs and milk and cream. Or I should say better milk. And we're gonna add cheese in, but I'll show you how to do that actually when I put it in the cup. All right. Okay. Now you don't have to do this, but ooh, we I put a little cheese on the bottom of the crust. Yes, I did. <laughs> yes, I did. All right. Now, so um, it's already been preheated. It's at 350. It's ready to go. This is ready to go. So there's cheese at the bottom like you saw earlier. There's cheese in the middle with the mixture. There's the filling in the middle and cheese on top. Now in the middle of it baking, it's going to bake for about 20 minutes or so. In the middle of it baking, I also like to put some more cheese on top. The cheesier the better. And then basically... Um, the point of this is to make it as cheesy as possible. No, I'm just joking. Um, no, do it like you want. Um, have fun with it. It's gonna be good. So we'll stick it in the oven and then uh, cheese it up and stick it somewhere to warm up the cheese on top and it's gonna be delicious and then we'll sh show you what the ending product looks like now you gotta be careful because it will bubble up and then it so that's why we didn't fill it all the way up to the top because it will pour over you don't want to mess <laughs> i don't like messes so i got we finally got the quiche out of the oven and we did the cheese on top and everything the way to test to see if it's all ready is to take a clean knife you stick it down the middle if it comes like out like this, then that means you're good. If it comes out milky, you need to stick it back in the oven. Um, and now all we, you have to do is slice it up, like a pizza pie, and share. Okay, as you guys can see, here's the finished product. Um, you can see the stuffing right here. So I've gone ahead and plated it. And um, it's nice and cheesy and eggy and the crust is nice and crispy. So there you go. That's about it.